What's going on guys, this is Simon. Today's topic is about the most dangerous job in China. So if you want to take a guess, please leave a comment and pause the video. Actually, there are many other jobs in China are also kind of risky, such as being a firefighter or even a doctor. But I think for the past 10 years, the most dangerous jobs on my list will be the chief officer of public security in Chongqing. For you guys who don't know Chongqing, Chongqing is one of the biggest cities in mainland China. So you guys may be like, how could a high ranking officials in China be the most dangerous job, right? Isn't this supposed to be the safest one? It just doesn't make any sense. So let me just tell you the story. And we shall begin our story from Wenqiang. I don't think most of you guys know him, but if you have been following Chinese politics for more than 10 years, then his name might sound familiar to you. Wen Chang was the former deputy chief of Chongqing Public Security for 16 years. He was also known as crime buster, having arrested Zhang Jun in September 2000. You may wonder who the hell is Zhang Jun? Now, Zhang Jun is a notorious serial killer and a gang leader in the city. You can even consider him the godfather in Chongqing because from 1995 to 2000, this guy and his members have committed numerous crimes such as looting shopping malls, kidnapping bankers, and even robbing armored cars, which resulted in killing 28 people, including employees working for the malls, bankers, and even police officers. So when the deputy chief Wen Chang took this guy down, people were cheering for him. At that time, Wen Chang was like the hero of the city. However, in 2009, the situation has changed. Wen Chang received several charges, including assisting gangs, taking millions of RMB in bribes, and raping a college student. Consequently, he received the death penalty. Just in one day, Wen Chang has become the worst criminal in Chongqing. According to multiple sources, Wen Chang has left the following last few words. He said, I've been an officer for my entire life and have dealt with many cases and have killed many. I was worried that one day I might get killed by the relatives of some criminal who got executed because of me, but I never thought I would die because of my own kind. I have thought about everything I know too much. If I don't die, someone may not be able to sleep. Sparing my life will cause trouble. My death will be beneficial to them. I, Wen Chang, can also read. In the past, people would clap when criminals got beheaded in public, but do anything change at all? Has China changed in the past several hundred years? I don't think so. Yesterday, a lot of people were setting off fireworks to celebrate. When I executed Zhang Jun, a lot of people also set off fireworks. I wonder if in three years, they are going to do it again. I wonder if they would realize I am actually not that bad. Things just went as Wen Chang predicted. After he got executed, Chongqing citizens once again put up banners and set off fireworks. They think justice has finally come. After Wen Chang was gone, in 2009, Wang Lijun, the guy who helped to take down Wen Chang, became the chief officer of public security in Chongqing. At the age of 28, Wang Lijun's highest education level was only middle school. According to the media, Wang Lijun later miraculously got his bachelor's and doctor's degree through his very hard study. And around 2011, he has already got a bunch of professor titles from 29 universities such as the University of Macau and the Beijing University of Post and Telecommunications. And at that time, Wang was one of the most important figures of the anti-mafia campaign called Sing for the Red, Fight Against the Black. His political career was taking off. He was the superstar of Chongqing at the time. People believed in him just like they used to believe in Wen Qiang. But things went south again on February 6, 2012. To everyone's surprise, Wang went to the US consulate in Chengdu without telling anybody. And he didn't leave until the next day. What was he doing over there exactly? Nobody knows for sure. But someone speculated that Wang's relationship with Bo Xilai went sour. So who is Bo? The party chief of Chongqing. He was the real number one guy in Chongqing at that time even above the mayor. Anyway, long story short, 
Several weeks later, the previous superhero Wang Lijun got arrested. Wang was convicted on charges of abuse of power, bribery, and defection, and sentenced to 15 years in prison. After that, in March 2012, He Ting has replaced Wang as the chief officer of the public security in Chongqing. He was quite famous because he was in charge of the Tiandao Lake incident, which happened in 1994 where three men hijacked a ferry on Tiandao Lake and then set the ship on fire, which ended up killing 32 people on board, and 24 of the passengers are from Taiwan. He solved the case in several weeks, so he kind of prevented the relationship between the mainland and Taiwan from deteriorating any further. Anyways, He Ting was considered as an anti-terrorism expert, and during a government meeting, he said, we will fight against all evil without any hesitation. No matter what kind of crime we have here in the city, we will try to tackle them. We will not decrease our attack against crime, but we will also improve our defense system against them. At that time, people really believed in him. They think this time the expert of anti-terrorism shall not fail them. However, things just didn't go as everyone has expected. Five years later, he got dismissed. According to the media, he got several charges, including violating the party's regulation, being involved in superstition activities, uh, using public assets for personal gains, and having dinner with private business owners, plus several more. So in January 2018, Deng Huiling has become the latest chief. Unlike other chiefs, Deng mainly focuses on cultural beauty inside the police department. On 2020, April 9th, during a government meeting, he said, We shall have zero tolerance against corruption and spare no effort to fight and eventually achieve our landslide victory. This time, people from Chongqing finally see hope. But once again, very unfortunately, just two months later, Deng was dismissed because of violating the party's regulation. So for the past decade, Chongqing got several chief officers of the public security, and every one of them was thought to be the hero that could bring justice to the people in Chongqing, but all of them have failed. So what is really going on there? Is there really some mysterious energy circulating around the sky of Chongqing that makes every chief become corrupted? Well. I have no clue, and as an ordinary Chinese dude, I don't think I'm qualified to give you guys an explanation, but I think it is safe to say that being the chief officer in Chongqing is indeed the most dangerous job in China right now. Alright guys, I think that's pretty much it for this video, so if you like the video, please hit the like button and subscribe, and I'll catch you guys on the next one, okay? Peace!